A young black man with an eye for photography spends the weekend with his white girlfriend and her parents at their secluded cottage. Jordan Peele was a household name from his sketch comedy show Key and Peele, but I don't think anybody expected him to be as brilliant of a writer and director as he actually is. When Get Out was first released, I kind of brushed it off just based on the title alone. Get Out. It just sounds like all of these other cookie cutter cheesy horror movies of the 2010s. You've got Lights Out, Don't Breathe, You're Next, Ready or Not, and the list goes on and on. But honestly, after watching Get Out, I can't think of a better name, so I retract my previous statement. What makes Get Out so incredible is that the plot is sophisticated enough to allow different viewers to watch the movie from different perspectives. And it makes it very easy for the viewer to put themselves in the shoes of our hero and to see things from his perspective in a way that probably a lot of white people haven't had the chance to do before. And Get Out is also funny when it needs to be. With a drop of a hat, it can take your breath away. The co-star, Lil Rel Howery, he gets most of the funny one-liners as this spastic, super confident, over-the-top TSA agent. But our lovable TSA agent isn't just funny, he even gets to show his acting chops, mainly in the scene where he's in the police station retelling his story. Now, I'm not comparing his acting portrayal to John Candy's masterpiece performance in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, but there's a look that he gives the police officer that reminds me of the look John Candy gives to Steve Martin when he says, I like me, and it just rips my heart out every time I see it. I think almost every one of us can relate to our main character as he's meeting his girlfriend's parents for the first time. There's nothing more nerve-wracking than meeting your significant other's family. But of course in Get Out there's more to it. There's the added layer of it's a mixed race relationship. Watching Get Out as a white male, I feel like for the first time in my life I was able to actually feel what someone from a different race must experience when they're surrounded by a bunch of white people. When, when the dad looks at our hero Chris and he says, you know, I would have voted for Obama a third time if I had the chance. I could just feel the cringe that Chris felt when he said that. And I guess I should take this time to apologize to all of my non-white friends if me or my family has ever said anything that cringeworthy and made you feel uncomfortable in our home. I truly apologize. But what makes Get Out so great is that everybody who watches it can have a different experience watching it and to get something different out of it. And all of this happens without ever feeling like you're being preached to. The direction in Get Out is so tight. There's several times throughout the movie where you start feeling one way and then you just look up and you just go, you got me again, Jordan Peele, you got me again. Hands down, Get Out is the best horror movie of the decade. It hits all the marks. It's scary, it's funny, it's beautifully shot, it's well acted, it's socially relevant, and it gets better the more you watch it and the more you think about it. Candlelit dinners, chopping wood, enjoying a nice evening tea, photography, secluded houses, shaving, 